Hello, my name is Mars, and welcome back to Harmony, the Fall of Reverie. Oh god, looking at this act, there are a lot of objectives. <laughs> and I don't know which ones necessarily need to be chosen between. Because I've seen in the past that, you know, choosing an early objective doesn't always necessarily lock you out of a future one but it's kind of hard to predict when that locking out will happen. All right, in the last episode, we witnessed the... Oh. That's in French. Mama son est santé lorsque j'y suis. I don't speak French, I'm sorry. All right, we witnessed the aftermath of Laszlo's death and glory being deposed. Polly lost contact with Reverie. Not that she would want to be in contact with them anyway, because she was very depressed. But then she had an unfortunate panic attack that led to her drinking modified Gregor. That gave her some very troubling visions of what is currently happening in Reverie. A lot of violence. A lot of bad things happening to the aspirations, but... Okay. There are a lot of branches, but the the map doesn't seem quite as complex as it has in the past. We're just getting that general overview, though, so... <laughs> Back to me. Ah! Let's just get started. I think maybe I messed up. My clothes and hair are soaked with sweat. My ears ring, my vision's blurry, and my mouth's dry. There's a warbling, eerie droning inside my head that won't stop. As if by instinct, my fingers curl tightly around my necklace and reality dissolves around me. That vision. Everything collapses as my consciousness opens on a new world. I squeeze my eyes shut as gusts of unearthly wind whip past me. I feel like shit, like I drank too much. Did the Egregor do this to me? The horrible vision. What was that all about? What happened to the aspirations and the red sky? There's a brief sensation of falling from a great height, then a sharp hypnic jerk as I land hard on my feet, gasping for breath. All around me are... Why would you phrase it like that? <laughs> I'm not gonna sing it. All around me are familiar faces. Oh god, it's a serious moment and they and they quoted a meme song. Come on. All around me are familiar faces assembled around the missing heart. The sky above is crimson. Chaos is nearest to me, and our eyes are the first to lock. I want to ask them about the vision, but I'll scream if I have to open my mouth right now. They smile. The usual smile. Horny, cocky, gorged with energy. The vision must be a dream. I need to focus on, on what's in front of me. Yeah, so if you remember, what happened in that vision? Chaos and Power were having a very angry confrontation. Bond was being strangled by his own uprooted mangrove trees. Bliss, some force, found its way into Bliss's unbreakable egg. I don't remember what was happening with Truth or Glory, but yeah, there was a lot of yikes happening. Focus on the immediate. Chaos, you, you're okay. What happened to the heart? From this close, I can see the subtle creases in their ageless painted face. Is that worry it looks almost out of place on them mm. disappeared when glory stepped down that dream yes we did rather feel that and it wasn't just a dream it was a warning of what will come to pass if a heart isn't chosen and soon the clock is ticking harmony wait what frivolous ideas would you try to plant in her mind next Oh, is that what we're going to do today? Fight? 
Truth glides forward, their icy stare sweeping over us all. Now is not the time for petty squabbling between us. Now is the time for action. I believe the action could stand to wait for our oracle to catch her breath. Okay. Let the aspirations advise me, or talk with glory and chaos, they seem concerned. Alright. <laughs> Why would I talk to the two least responsible aspirations? Um, I'm just gonna let them all talk to me. I need to put some serious consideration into which aspirations I should listen to. They're all eager to advise me. I can't afford to withdraw into myself and lose track of what's happening in Reverie or Brittle. Most of the aspirations agree. We get that you have a lot on your plate. But if you keep the momentum going, it'll strengthen our will. Make sense? I see what you mean. Just keep... doing things? Making decisions? Only by your efforts can the world be changed, and a new heart chosen. I recommend that you focus on what remains of your family. Face your grief together. Yeah, help each other through it. But do not neglect the community around you. There is an energy in Brittle now, one that could unite people in action. This is merely the calm in the eye of a great storm. No pressure or anything. That's a whole lot to think about, but I promise them I'll consider their words. Yeah, you four are a reasonable bunch. I, why would I talk to Glory and Chaos? They both seem like utter idiots. <laughs> okay. Oh, there are some things unlocked now. This one is Nora needs a breather. What does Ursula want? I'm guessing like, I don't need to choose between those. I'll have to choose between these, but... But, um... These branches I can do both or all of them. Okay. What'll this unlock? Two way up there. These two objectives. A long day and brittle. Back in Brittle, I fumble around in my dresser drawer for a painkiller. My body feels rusty, my left leg's numb. I must have slept on it funny. And I stink. I grab a towel and head to the shower. I just need a few minutes to myself before I get back to thinking about everything else. I try to calm my racing mind and focus on the hot water running down my skin. I'm breathing into the steam. For a little while, everything feels better. My phone dings. Anxiety wells up in my chest as I hastily rinse my hair and reach for my towel. Once my hands are dry, I grab my phone. It's a text from Yana. How are you doing? I hope today is a decent one on your end. All I can think of to reply is thanks. I appreciate it. What else can I say? I don't want to try to put any of what I'm feeling into words right now. I can't. But I do appreciate them reaching out. I know I need to focus. But even once I've showered and dressed, I still don't feel awake. There's a numbness and aimlessness to everything. For a few minutes, all I can do is stare out the window. The naiads look the same as any other day, until I notice the growing pile of photos, candles, and flowers at the gate. So many people knew Laszlo. So many of us loved him. I'll have to talk to Ursula and Nora about this at some point. There's a lot piling up, emotionally and otherwise, and nothing much to do in the coming days. I can't stay in my room all day. As I head out, I pass the guest room Omar uses when he comes to see Ursula and stays late. He's not there. I have so many questions about the future. There are so many different paths, all going in different directions, but it's so much dis more disorienting than before. My powers still aren't what they were. Drinking that Gregor definitely didn't solve all my problems. I thought I'd find them here. Nora and Ursula are waiting for me in silence, keeping their distance from one another. Both have things to say, questions to ask, demands to make, wants, needs. All things I have to consider. 
Okay. So, up here. Support the social uprising. Acknowledge what Laszlo's death means for Olivetina. Or stay out of the movement. If you are not comfortable with everything Laszlo's death means, step away. Right here we have, how do Nora and Ursula feel? Okay. Or I could take a day off from everything. You still haven't done anything that's for yourself alone. <laughs> I think there's achievement related to this. Getting glory crystals and... Um, yeah, getting glory crystals and um, taking a day off. All right. So, like, I don't know why I would just completely ignore everything that Nora and Ursula have. I don't think that doing these will revoke this, necessarily. Okay. I need to look at what the the objectives are again. Um, Alright. Focus on the strength you have together. The naiads will stand. Rebellion isn't peaceful. Okay. Look, I... Okay, that's kind of hard. I feel like this isn't the best option. Like... The revolution is important. And, again, I feel like Bliss's way of going about things, like... Sheltering herself and, like... Just trying to be happy and ignoring what's going on outside. Like, I... I don't... I still don't think that's healthy. I think that's very much... This objective is very much... Um... The bad side of bliss. That's what it exemplifies. But... I'm not quite clear on what... Truth is doing here. If this is associated with truth, I think that is telling of what it is that Polly, the character, actually wants. The others are giving us options of going all in with this revolution. <sighs> but I feel like my ultimate goal in this game is support truth. I like truth a lot. So I kind of want to support them, but It feels a little bit wrong to do so in this situation. I also feel like... Hold on, let's take another look. I know I don't want to do Glory and Chaos's thing. I... <laughs> I'm glad they're teaming up now. They're not enemies anymore, but... I think that just going into it and letting it be as messy as it possibly can be. And again, I don't know the full context of these objectives, but... I don't like the vibes that the Chaos and Glory objective is giving me. I could go with Bond. I could very well go with Bond. I still like him, even though I'm still a little iffy on him siding with Chaos. Yeah. I mean, I think that the ultimate goal of this game is choose who the new heart is. And I think that's what I need to focus on now. And to me, it's either between truth or bond. So that's my long-term thoughts. My more immediate thoughts are, I don't want to do this one and I'm not entirely sure on either of these. Um, my most immediate thoughts would require me to just see what all of the objectives are here. Let's see what Nora has to say. 
Nora needs some time away from the naiads. It's been days since she left her room to go anywhere other than the kitchen. Today, she seems to have regained some of her usual spark. I immediately am worried that maybe those hidden notes are um, un... are uh, not un anything. They're inevitable, and that um, choosing this is immediately going to lock me into that objective on the left, which I don't want to happen. Um, but it's fine. Like, I gotta give... If it's a choice between Nora and Ursula, I'm going Nora all the way. If it's not, great. But if it's a choice, then I would choose Nora, because Ursula is kind of a bitch, and I don't like her ideas. And she didn't want me. She... She handled, she handled the question about why she wrote that poem pretty well, but I still feel like there's bad blood between her and Polly, and, you know, just because someone's your mother doesn't mean you have to like her, even. So, yeah. Nora, hey. talked over you, Nora. I'm sorry. Sorry. Hey. I talked over you, too, Polly. God. Weather's well, nice today, is it? Yeah. Great. So, you wouldn't want to go to the skate park with me, would you? I'd like to spend time with her, really, but it sounds exhausting. I'm so, so sore and fatigued. This is the type of thing Glory told me to think twice about, to preserve myself. Still, family bonding time is something we both need more of e more than ever right now. Well, Glory didn't tell us that because we didn't choose that node. Alright, yeah, these are inevitable. All right. She needs you, and if you could have some fun. Okay. My duty as a big sister, that's locked off. Nora's decision. That would unlock a node. Well, the fact that this would um, reveal nodes over here tells me that going down this route won't block off anything. Um, hmm. It's a lot to handle. Laszlo wasn't just ours. Private grief, public display. Um. <sighs> hmm. Oh, I need the glory crystals to do this, which I still don't really want to do, even though it'll get me an achievement. Um, but I need glory crystals to do this. And if I want to do this, then, huh. If I want to say it's a lot to handle, I could, in case one, any of these will take away truth crystals, um, I could, hmm. I could secure myself this, gaining two truth crystals so I can stock up on them. Um, unfortunately, if I do this, I won't know what any of these are. <sighs> Alright. Can I... I kind of want to see the skate park thing. All right. I am still not entirely sure what I want to do. <laughs> um, I could take a middle road, try to get glory crystals now for the sake of getting truth crystals later and securing this. Because if I go this way and then do truth, 
I would be going all in on that middle objective right away. Um, and I still don't know if I want to do that, but I don't like being wishy-washy is the thing. I've done that a lot, been wishy-washy, and it hasn't it's not that it hasn't worked out well for me. I think most of the time, especially when it comes to the outcomes, I've always been able to choose the outcome I wanted. But it doesn't feel good being all wishy-washy is the thing. So, oh, God. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. I still don't know whether I want to do whether I want to unite the is Alma the city or the the continent or what or the country um, or do I just focus on my family with either bond or truth huh Like, I. This is a really hard decision, but I need to make one. So. Right now, I'm going to say I don't want to take any glory crystals. I want to stay as far away from that side of the objective as possible. I like you, Glory. You're a really cool character. I like your design, but you've made some bad choices in the past, and I don't trust you. So. I'm going to go with Nora and hopefully get the truth crystals. I agree to go with her and we head out right away. Nora does her best not to look at the trinkets people have left for Laszlo. Pay them? She clears her throat and pulls her scarf tighter around her face as we step out into Alma. I'm glad people are thinking of him and love him, but... He was my granddad. I've heard what they're saying on the tribe and online. Some people are trying to make him into a symbol of MK's oppression, but like... That's my granddad they're talking about. And he's dead. I'd never wish this pain on anyone. But I wish people would think about how using his name and face for the movement makes us feel. Mm. But what good is it to call for a revolution and then refuse to get involved? I just... That's a very good point. And that's like the crux of my dilemma here. Like, we started this, so why would we not support it? That's, that's my main thought when it comes to going with the power and bond outcome. We started this. It would be hypocritical, it disingenuous, all of those things of us to not go along with it. But at the same time, Nora is completely right. Like. This is our personal family pain. This is not anyone else's business and they're kind of objectifying our family's pain as a way to further the movement. I don't know. It's, it's tough. Okay. Oh, we're still in the node. We're here. can't unlock this, bring up Nora's reaction. Nora's decision. I refuse. Chaos has helped to free glory and still is, Jade is still friendly to us. Oh. We could have alienated Jade. Well, it's a good thing we didn't. I like Jade. I like her friendship and or romance with Nora. They're very cute together. They're In my mind, they're like the girlies. They're our moral compass and they're the girlies. Jade's here. The stakes are a lot lower than the last time we saw each other. She waves and walks over, a board tucked under her arm. Hey, you two. How are you holding up? Uh, you know. Like shit. Same. Yeah. That's normal. Healthy, even. I'm so glad we met her, that Nora has her support. 
Jade heads to the half pipe while Nora gives me a quick refresher on how to keep my balance on rollerblades without cracking my head open. <laughs> yep. Polly, you're just like me. I can't skate for crap. Ice or roller. I'm too scared. I'm too scared to fall. It's been such a long time since I went skating. I scoot around the areas that are more my speed and watch them go. After a while, Nora glides past me on her board and drags one foot to a controlled stop. Hi. Would you hate me if I said I needed a change of scene and might sleep over at Jade's tonight? Part of me wants to keep her close by, but I bite my tongue. I think she really needs this. I love you, and I think you should go. Okay, how about this? That's kind of the reason I wanted you to come, so I could ask you that. To skate too, but, uh, yeah. Still love you. <laughs> I'm feeling a little steadier on my feet, so I skate after her as she zooms away. Jade is taking a breather and checking her phone, but she gives us two thumbs up from a bench nearby. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this revokes anything. What more is there to do, Sprout? I nod toward the park equipment. Nora grabs her board and heads over. A moment later, she's sailing. I've forgotten how good she is at this. I fumble with my shoes. My old rollerblades still fit, but the straps were always the tricky part. We can go back for the training wheels if you want. I roll my eyes. She grins and scoots off again. Once I'm finally on my wheels, it doesn't take me long to get the hang of things again. Polly, you're betraying me. One foot in front of the other. Don't push. Slow, smooth motions. Use her arms for balance. Still got it. Then we're together. Nora on her skateboard, me on my rollerblades and shaky legs. We glide hand in hand. We soar, we laugh, we forget our troubles for one blissful moment. What else can we do? Okay. Do we want to bother doing Ursula's thing? Okay. This, Nora's opinion, will give us truth and make us lose power. Okay. Um. Look, I don't really care what Ursula's up to. But Look, I just I just don't care. <laughs> so I'm we have the bliss crystals. Yeah, I feel like Ursula is going to send me down the, the chaos path. Cause that's her lover. And I don't I don't want that. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm being decisive. <laughs> I'm being decisive. We can't avoid the topic any longer. We have to talk about the memorials, about how people are processing Laszlo's death all around us. I gather Ursula and Nora together. They look as haggard as I, as I, as I feel. Nora's clothes are wrinkled and stained, Ursula's hair lank. All that stuff at the gate. All those offerings. Immediately I'm feeling, that's bad let's play form. To just ignore an entire branch. People want a completionist playthrough, don't they? But I'm trying to be decisive. <laughs> and I don't like Ursula. I don't... I don't like her. <laughs> I mean, she's a very interesting character. I just don't like her as a person. That's, that's always what I mean when I say I don't like someone. It means I don't like them as a person, not necessarily as a character. She serves her purpose in the narrative. Man, I hate them. It is a little unsettling, but people need to grieve. Not just for a man, but for everything they've lost. Laszlo is the face of political dissent in Alma. I'm not sure how I feel about that. We could have gotten a bond crystal, but I don't really want to go down this path. How can you answer that if you haven't even given the time to think? Do you know what he meant to others? I don't. Well, I think I could have gotten some insight on, like, Ursula's 
Um, romance with... Oh, I could have met Yana? Oh! Ah! Okay. Oh, well. God damn it. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Restart chapter. I'll cut a bunch out. I'll do everything I did already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'll skip through everything really fast and <laughs> I gotta go down the romance route. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. I did all the Nora stuff. I got I got the five bliss crystals um, and we're gonna go here now. Um, <laughs> I feel like I have the distinct feeling that we've already kind of failed the romance route. But I still want to check up on Yana. Like, even though I feel like they think we kind of manipulated them on our call with them. And I think that objective is going to cock block us, basically. But Yana's still a cool person. If we can be friends at the very least, and just see see them more as a character. Like, I would be all about that. Okay. What does Ursula want? I swear I'm not usually like this. I... Like... I'm not a big fan of, like, save scumming and trying every option. Like, I think you choose your actions and you accept the consequences. That's the point of a game like this. But, like, that was just too big. That was too big to just let slide, so. Um, I'm doing this. I used the chapter restart function, which I thought I would never use, but I did, so. Okay. We're going down this path now. If I, if I regret it, I don't know. Hopefully I won't regret this. Um, if it feels too yucky, I'll go back to my original decision. But Okay. Over the last couple days, Ursula's really been looking her age. The papery skin on her arms, the wrinkles around her eyes, the white hair. She looks so human, vulnerable. She must hate it. Have I changed too? I'll be going to the bar soon to do some cleaning and tie up loose ends. Shutting off the electricity, water, and such. I need help, if you're able. I tell her I'll let her know, and she nods, brusque and businesslike. It's not long before my phone dings again. It's Yana, offering to come by to get wasted and eat ice cream together. Could that be just what I need? Not getting wasted, but spending time with a friend. Yeah. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, it it's just one glory crystal. It's fine. This could get me bond crystals. Um, I mean, I'm still pretty sure I want to do the truth objective. So. Oh god, and this is the romance option, so I'm sure it'll get me chaos. I'm all over the place right now, but I want to spend time with Yana. Yes. I text Yana back in the affirmative, saying we have everything we need at home except for maybe the ice cream. They say they'll bring some. Time with them sounds like exactly what I need right now. Telling Ursula I'm not ready to go to the bar is awkward, but not too dramatic. She leaves without a fuss, though I can tell she's disappointed. Yana arrives soon after. <clears throat> I'm expecting that awkward moment where they'll tiptoe around the situation, but no, they just go for it. I'm so sorry about Laszlo. I can't change what happened, but I'll be there to support you. It's a bit blunt, Yana style, but I know they mean it. Thank you. How about you, though? How have you been? Well, I've been laid off, and I might be charged with helping rioters loot government property or some other corporate bullshit to cover up police brutality. But it could be worse. 
I appreciate them not sugarcoating things. I guess we could both use a change of pace. Let's do something to take our mind off things. I'm up for whatever you want to do. I beckon them through the doorway and we head inside together. Do I have to do all of these or no, I need to do two of them before I can do this. Visit Laszlo's cellar. Straight from the bottle. The choice Yana never had. The distant memory of the garden. Don't bogart the joint. <laughs> I'm I'm not big into like drugs and stuff. I I don't know or like drinking culture. I don't know what bogart means. <laughs> um Oh, weed. Well, first, let's show Yana around. I'll show them around. While we're here, I show them around a couple of nearby rooms. We start with the living room with its arcade machine. Oh, I'm terrible at this one. You must have played it all the time as a kid. Yeah. I'm not bad at it. Next up, the kitchen. What's with the oven? The oven that says oven. I don't know. It's always been like that. Why isn't the other furniture labeled? Social experiment. <laughs> they spend a few minute moments gazing out the window into the garden. I don't really want to stay on Atina forever. But if I had to, I'd love to live in a big place with a garden. Just like this. I show them the drawings Nora and I made when we were young girls. Frickin' Audrey too. Giving me nightmares. <laughs> Laszlo and Ursula got so mad at us for these, but they never tried to get rid of them. Maybe they're impossible to erase. As I show them the bedrooms, they turn to me curiously. Your room isn't near the others. I wanted some space when I was younger, before I went away to school. Gotcha. Is your room part of the tour? Depends where in the naiads we end up. We're sticking to the main bu building at the moment, so I doubt they'll get a chance to see it. I still need to do one. Um, let's see. Do we want weed or booze? <laughs> That's the question, ain't it? Um, yeah. So I'm quite sure the option here, like, the outcomes being chosen have to do with, like, oh, whether they like us that way or not. And I'm sure that has to do with our choice on the phone call. Um, weed or booze, weed or booze. Relax in the sun, bring them to the depot. booze. <laughs> I, I'm not big on weed. So, yeah. For someone who worked at a bar, Laszlo wasn't a big drinker, but he was very proud of his private cellar. He always said it was only for special occasions, so I almost never saw him crack open a bottle. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Just to warn you, I've been known to drink pretty much anything. Stuff this nice might be wasted on me. Not at all. If I keep waiting for a special occasion, it'll go to waste. Let's share this one. I'm sure Laszlo wouldn't mind. They smile. It's nice to see someone smiling again around here. Before we move along, they give the room one last look, their eyes catching here and there. Seeing a flag with horizontal stripes of pink, white, and blue among his belongings, they smile. It was a gift from Nora. Laszlo was always proud of her and proud to be her ally. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. The bike piques their interest next. I don't think Laszlo ever actually rode that one. It's been so long since I rode a bike. How do you get around town? The tram, usually. Otherwise, I just smile at someone and get a free ride. Okay. Wait, we should put it in the freezer. The ice cream scandal. 
We're ready to settle in somewhere when the realization hits me. The ice cream's gonna melt. Let's get that ice cream into the freezer before it turns into soup. Yana turns to me, looking extremely serious. <laughs> there is no ice cream. I forgot to bring it. I thought maybe you'd forgotten, so I didn't bring it up. The jig is up. You're a con artist. You just wanted to get wasted, that's it. <laughs> I only have myself to blame. I'm sorry. <laughs> really. It's okay. Let's see what else we have. Inside the freezer are a couple of mint chocolate cones hidden between ice encrusted, ice encrusted containers. They've been there for a while, but they're still good. It's a lucky day. You like mint chocolate chip? It's in my top three flavors for sure. Thanks. You're a real one, Yana. Mint chocolate chip is the best ice cream flavor. It doesn't take us long to demolish them. I'm starting to suspect that Yana's immune to brain freeze. Good save. You're the hero Atina needs. I disagree, but I'll take it. You know I have to ask now, right? What? What are your other top flavors? Oh, yeah. No contest. Pistachio and chili pepper. Spicy ice cream. Real one. What did I say? That's a thing? Spice cream? Spice cream is where it's at. Anyway, do I want to stay here and do what we planned, or should we go somewhere else instead? Okay, so we have the option between straight from the bottle, the choice Yana never had, distant memory of the garden. Oh, I think we have to do both of these so we can only do this. Um. Yeah, this means you have to do both, so let's just drink. Chaos says, open the bottle, smell that boozy aroma, and let your mouth water. It feels good and you need it. I open the bottle and smell it. It's fruity. Oh, that's a sneaky one. The kind of drink that makes you forget it's alcohol. We each take a sip. It's smooth going down, but there's still a pleasant burn in my chest after I swallow. I spot Yana eyeing Lazo's bike again. Feeling brave? They stand up, raising their eyebrows. I can't use Laszlo's, so I pick another bike instead. Still remember how it works? Yana takes a few moments to observe the bike, as though it's a wild animal. They look at me and crack a flirty smile. Uh, come on, pretty girl. Give me a ride. I laugh and mount the bike. Yana climbs on behind me, pressing their body up against mine as I try not to fall. <laughs> Where to? Wherever you want. We almost make a complete lap at the pool before we collapse into a heap. No one's hurt, so we keep laughing. You're missing out. The island isn't that big. Bikes are so useful here. First of all, this island has too many hills. Second, I like walking. When the sun's coming up and you have music in your ears, it's nice to walk. You get up with the sun now. Did all those detentions cure you of sleeping in? <laughs> no way. I mean, when I go to a party or a concert or a pub and I don't want to go home alone, we screw and a bail in the morning. I'm not sure what to say. Come on. Sex is good, but getting attached is something else. Aren't we getting attached? I think Yana has the same thought, because they give me a sudden surprise smile. I still don't know what to say. Alright, we still have to do... Yana wanted to leave Atina, but... Yana gazes out through the window. I always wanted to leave the island, but I couldn't. I guess there's no point wondering what my life would be like now if I had, but I can't help it. Why did you want to leave so badly? It's been weird to be here since I was 13. I never went away. I would have liked to move somewhere no one knows me and never come back. That's not exactly an answer. They'd look at me, smile defiantly, and don't say anything else. Sorry. It's okay if you don't want to talk about it. First time I got drunk, I must have been 17. It was on a playground, sitting on a whirly. A girl told me about this trick to fight the cold, and we took turns sipping from a thermos she had. Too bad it never gets cold here. I always wondered what a cold winter would feel like. Well, if you do experience a cold winter, Yana, do not drink alcohol to fight it. Alcohol only makes you feel warm, so you feel more comfortable being out of the cold. But your body is still affected by the cold, even if you don't feel it, and you can, like, freeze to death that way. 
That's true. I've seen everything to see here, and I'll never see anything else. All right, so bring Yana to the depot. If you drank, you talk, now show them something new. Big fan of this romance mood music. Way to go, Lena. We arrive at my room, the little depot I claim for my own. Oh, the depot, her, 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 her house. If nothing else, you'll have seen something new today. Yana looks around, picking up a stray bottle. It's a mess. Yep. It's been a work in progress since before I was even born. I used to come here when I was little and wanted to be alone. Laszlo taught me so much here. We did a lot of tinkering together. What about the sewing mannequin? Nora took over after I left. Hmm. Oh, your sister sews. Nice. I haven't worn a dress in so long. They got me too many assumptions, questions, and weird looks. Hey, what's in the other room? My bedroom. Yana's eyes light up. Can I see? Sure. Watch out, though. It's kind of a sauna in there. I hang back outside the doorway while they duck into my room. Oh, well, I don't want to get all sweaty. Next time, maybe. They pop back out of the room. There's still something we should do before I go. What? Let's go to the beach. What might they want to do there? Oh, we're getting too many chaos crystals. But I can't not do this. Yana suggests we go to the beach next. They're so enthusiastic at the idea that I can't help but follow them. The warmth of the sea feels good. Yana rolls up their pant legs to wade a bit further in. I follow them, glad to meet be with someone who makes it easy to just be. We wade in comfortable silence. After a while, we head back to dry land and fall into the soft sand, giddy and unencumbered. Yana looks at me for a moment. We could kiss now, if you want. It's nice to have someone so close to you when you're sad. Do I want that? Okay, so we're gonna see what the outcomes are. It's chaos either way. Okay, so this choice is just a question of, like, are you, as the player, comfortable with doing a romance option? Okay, I appreciate that. It's like in Hades. Hades, my reference for everything, where you pursue Meg or Than, and, like, they show up in your room, and the game is very, very gentle with you. It says, if you say no, they'll, there will be no hard feelings. Uh, this feels the same. Um, and Chaos is specifically saying you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. But I want to kiss them. If the option is given to me, yes. Well, why not? Wasn't Chaos talking about things like this earlier? They weren't because we didn't talk to them. We talked to the reasonable people. We face each other, eyes gleaming with expectation, breathing heavily despite the feeling that our hearts are skipping beats. Our faces come nearer and nearer until our lips bridge the gap between us. Aww. My eyes briefly meet theirs before I close them and our mouths open. At first, we're slow and hesitant, asking permission without words, exploring, and then our bodies are clasped against each other in a tight embrace. I dissolve into the moment. There's a devouring hunger in me, starved for the feeling of being alive, of leaving the world behind, of having someone just be here with me. Softly, Yana presses against my chest and pulls away for a breath. They move my hand from their hip. They keep theirs on my jaw. I know you've been hurting. I don't want to pressure you into anything. Slowly and gently, their thumb brushes a tear from under my eye. I didn't realize I'd been crying. This can stay here, on this starry beach, or be brought into the world and perhaps become something else. It's up to you. Hours later, I'm still thinking about it. There's still a tingling warmth in my stomach. So good. Good 
good, good, good. Now we have to talk to Nora and Ursula. And I'm still, I'm not taking a day off. Hmm. I am Smile. That was a very nice, a very nice little romance path. And I'm getting the feeling that there is nothing we could have done to prevent that romance from being an option. Um, which I think is good. I'm used to like dating sims where, oh, you know, it's, you play as a girl and it's all these pretty boys, which I, I, I personally don't have a problem with that. But, you know, when that's, when that's all you're given, like... Yeah, of course, you can screw things up, but when the uh, opportunity is given to have the main romance in the game be so representative of something that's not seen in games a lot, like uh, a woman and a femme-presenting non-binary person, um, <laughs> like, why would, you, why would you block that off with gameplay? Why wouldn't you just let that happen i i appreciate what the game was doing i was thinking too much in like a gamey kind of way and less in a this is an important narrative beat kind of way so i was wrong to worry that i had um ruined my chances with yana and even though it sent me down the chaos path i'm very pleased with it and applauding this game for being brave enough to present a romance like that not just a romance like that a character like yana um yeah but okay now we're going off to the the main crux what we want We can't avoid the topic any longer. We have to talk about the memorials, about how people are processing Laszlo's death all around us. I gather Ursula and Nora together. They look as haggard as I feel. Okay, I think I read this part already. All that stuff at the gate. All those offerings. Man. I hate them. It is a little unsettling, but people need to grieve. Not just for a man but for everything they've lost. Laszlo is a face of political dissent in Alma. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Laszlo wasn't just ours. He was family, but he was also part of Alma and more. It's strange what family does to your perception of a person. Their role in the family becomes their identity. Laszlo was a granddad, a stepdad, head of the family unit, co-head at least, but that wasn't the whole of it. Laszlo was a friend, a barkeep, a confidant, a drinking partner, and a storyteller. He didn't belong to us alone. Right now, his identity outside of our family bonds is more important. Isn't it? Right. So this is gonna send us here. No. I think this will actually be a safer way to get the truth crystals because we, we don't know which of these options because right here we have an option that will give us a power crystal but then immediately take the power crystal away because this locked node has not been unlocked and I'm guessing the same thing will happen over here we get a truth crystal here but it is then subsequently taken away from us. And I assume that will happen because there weren't any unlock nodes over in Yana's route, and I think that the unlock, that the key had to be in Ursula's. In Ursula's. So even though it will give me a power crystal, not a truth crystal, I'm going here. Except Laszlo represents, wait, what's this um, actually? Nora's opinion. Yeah, let's listen to Nora's opinion. Accept what Laszlo represents. Laszlo isn't just part of our family. He's a symbol. It's a lot for all of us, but his name, his face, 
What happened to him? They've united people. He's the face of injustice now. Not much we can do about it. And the people out there need... They need a focus. Laszlo's life and death have become the center point of revolt. Of rage, fury, and the need to work together against those who mean us harm. It's hard for our family, sure, but it's no worse th than what MK has been spilling on the tribe. It. It's a force to reckon with. A storm brewing. I should ask the others what they think. Oh, we can actually do this. Your sister is as wounded as you are. Well, I'm going with Nora. I turn to Nora. She runs her hands through her hair and takes a moment to collect her thoughts. I love that people remember him and love him. And I'm angry too. I hate MK. But putting Grandpa's face on that feeling, I can't do it. At least not now. I feel ashamed for not demanding justice or, or rioting or anything, but I just want to be sad and hope the rage and the outcry will still be there when I'm ready. He didn't want his death to be a public spectacle. We didn't talk about it much, but he knew he was getting older. He knew he'd be gone one day, that I'd be without him. I never imagined it would be like this. I don't know about you guys, but I need more room to grieve. I, I miss him so much. Yeah. All right, I can still, oh, I need to do this. Um, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't realize I had to do both. Ugh. Okay, so I think we're going to come out of this chapter with a pretty even look at all three of these. I mean, ultimately, we need more of these to... We need more of these in total to choose this one. But we're gonna end up with six of these and friggin, let's see. Ugh, 10. Ten of these. Ugh. So we're not going with the truth, I guess. Oh, that's so annoying. <sighs> I didn't really pay attention. Damn it. I was not paying full attention to the og roll. And now I'm gonna have to go with a power thing. I wanted to do truth's objective, but ugh. I bungled it by going with Yana. If I had asked Ursula about the memorials, if I had gone this way, I could have unlocked this, kept my truth crystal, kept myself from getting a power crystal. Ugh. Ursula has something to say. There's a limit to what we can control, and Laszlo's death is not on us. It's hard because we knew him, but there were also things he did not share with us. For my part, I have mixed feelings, if you must know. Nora, I know you don't agree. Nora shifts from foot to foot awkwardly and looks at the floor. But what's done is done. And I do appreciate what Laszlo's spirit has inspired here on Atina. She seems like she's made up her mind. Then again, I guess she doesn't have much choice. She's resolutely putting the best face she can on the situation. Okay, well, by avoiding Ursula, we have unfortunately, um, forced, forced ourselves to go with her option. Great. 
Ugh. <laughs> now what? I feel numb. I don't really know what to do. I don't think there is any right way to feel about this. It's not like anything like this has happened to us before. Thank you, though, for being honest. Nora smiles sadly as Ursula touches her arm. Everyone said their part. The only remaining question for us to answer is, what are we going to do about the way Laszlo's face is being used politically? Okay. I'm sorry, Truth. I'm so sorry. I'm not a... I'm not anti-power anymore. I've come around to understanding what he represents and not just seeing him as, oh, big white man whose name is Power. Obviously, everything he does is bad. Like, the aspirations have more nuance than that. Um, uh, it still sucks because I want to support Truth. I want to get them there, Gregor, but... May his death be a symbol that resonates. You chose to fight. Okay. We can't stop people from using his name or face. And we, too, share all these feelings of injustice and rage and pain. Laszlo's become a focal point for everyone. A symbol of good, overcome by... whatever the hell MK represents. Who the hell are we to take that away from people? Wars like this are won with such symbols. I must admit it has been difficult to see his face splashed across the streets. All those posters. But our pain is not the issue here. He's become something more now. His memory has, at least. I get it. I do. It's just... I hate it, but... I can bear it. May what happened to Laszlo be the last nail in MK's coffin. May it be a scream for Matina itself. No more. It's not easy for us, but we support this fight for the future and the part Laszlo's memory is playing in it. Even though we would have preferred to have him with us, we'll hold awake. People will appreciate the opportunity to come and mourn with us. Nice. Awake sounds nice. Oof. Okay. Uh. God damn it. We've locked ourselves into this, haven't we? God damn it. There's not going to be enough a way to get enough of either of these, is there? Shit. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that this is a relatively short act. Ugh. Well. Ugh. And now I don't think we can restart the chapter. <laughs> okay. I'm not happy with where we are right now. I liked what I saw in that chapter, but I don't like where it has led us. Ugh. Shit. Okay, I will deal with the consequences of my actions in the next episode, I guess. Okay. I have been Mars, and I will be back with more Harmony, The Fall of Reverie. <laughs>